In this video, we are going to talk about transit of Saturn from Capricorn to Aquarius for all the moon sign and ascendant. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Brahmanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahazani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. Saturn's transit. But before that, if you want to learn Vedic Astrology, I have a live free training for more than three hours. Check out the link into the description section and keep those three hours spare. Whenever you are ready, then only click and join. Then you'll be able to, uh, you know, get started into Vedic Astrology, get initiated into Vedic Astrology. And you can, you'll be able to make uh, some predictions as well for yourself. Saturn into the sign of Capricorn. What is the planet Saturn? Saturn is the planet of responsibility, restriction, fear. And Saturn is the planet of success. <laughs> what? Yes, I mean it. Saturn is a planet which is all about the karma. I always believe that wherever we have Saturn placed in our chart and wh whichever signs it aspects, those are the signs which are blessed ones. Okay, so you don't have to worry about those signs because you, there will be a constant audit of those signs and houses in your chart. Okay, but let's say if you don't have a Saturn's aspect on certain houses, be careful about that house because you know you're likely to make mistakes around that house. I'm not talking about the transit, I'm talking about the nettle placement of the Saturn and the houses which are not aspected by the Saturn. Okay, we'll talk about that maybe some, some other day. Today's topic is Saturn's transit into the sign of Aquarius. Saturn is moving from the sign of Capricorn to the sign of Aquarius. Both the signs are ruled by Saturn. On the 29th of April, the Saturn has already moved from Capricorn to the sign of Aquarius. The sign of Capricorn is an earth element and fixed sign, not fixed sign, the Chara sign. And the sign of Aquarius is ruled by Saturn, is an air element sign and is a fixed sign. Okay, so from a Chara sign and earth element sign to the fixed and uh, air element sign. Okay, so this 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 shift from the Capricorn to the Aquarius is the shift from the self to the society, from the individual to the humanity. You have to, you will see that you will be sacrificing yourself for a greater for a greater cause. Okay, because Aquarius is all about the humanity. Aquarius is all about this, uh, you know, collective consciousness. And uh, Aquarius is also the scientific sign, intelligent sign, because air element are social and intelligent signs. And the air element itself is ruled by Saturn. Okay, so many things are happening. So Saturn moved from the sign of Capricorn to the Aquarius, but it is going back from Aquarius to the sign of uh, Capricorn in the month of July. Saturn will be moving back to the sign of Capricorn after say two couple of months in the month of July. So this is just two and a half months transit but still we are going to discuss about what, what we should do during this time. Let's talk about the Aries Ascendant. For Aries Ascendant the sign of Capricorn comes into the 10th house and Aquarius comes into the 11th house. So for Aquarius people the Saturn is transiting from the 10th to the 11th, okay? And from the 11th house, it will aspect the first house, aspect the 8th house, aspect the 5th house, okay? And when it is into the sign of Aquarius, it will also be conjunct with the Mars and it is also aspecting the sign of Mars with the third aspect. So what it shows is for Aries Ascendant people, Saturn is going to bring slow growth and slow uh, gains. Okay, so you will make some wise decisions around your finances. So what it shows is Saturn is transiting through the 11th house. 11th house is an Upachaya house, the house of dreams and desires. And Saturn is a planet of responsibility, is a planet of restriction, is a planet of delay. But at the same time, the Saturn is planet of karma. So what it shows is you will be rewarded for your karmas during this time. So whatever you did during the uh, last transit, the 10th Lord is getting into the 11th house, right? So the 10th Lord is getting into its own sign in the 11th house and is aspecting the first house. So what it shows is it will direct you 
towards your financial gains. It will make you take wise decision, take, you know, uh, appropriate decisions towards your gains because the 10th house is also the house of karma. And with the third aspect is aspect the ascendant with the seventh aspect it will aspect the fifth house with leo and with the tenth aspect it will aspect the sign of scorpio which is the eighth house of transformation and the house of emotional vulnerabilities but mars the ruler of the first and the eighth house is conjunct into the eleventh house okay when first lord goes into the eighth house it shows that all your life force is into the eleventh house Okay, so the conjunction of Saturn and Mars into the 11th house shows something big is going to happen into the 11th house. So I would recommend not to take any rash decisions around your finances and your gains, especially financial gains. Okay, because this Mars from the 11th house will also aspect the 6th house of your dates. Okay, so whenever Mars is connected with the dates or the 6th house, you have to be careful and you have to take wise decisions around your finances during this time. Okay, so you will have gains. You will have the rewards of the karmas you did during the last few days, the last few uh, uh, months when Saturn was in the sign of Capricorn. Now is the time to get the fruits of them. Okay, but at the same time, take the wise decisions around your dates. Okay, don't take any aggressive rash decisions around your finances, especially your dates. Okay, now. Let's talk about the Taurus Ascendant. For tar Taurus Ascendant, this transit is going through the 10th house. So the 9th Lord is going into the 10th house. So Saturn is a Rajya Karaka planet for Taurus Ascendant. So wherever this Saturn goes for Taurus Ascendant, it brings in something good about that house. It brings in some wisdom and some uh, hidden truths about that house. So it, it uh, audits that house to give you the fruits of the karmas around that area of your house, around that area of your life. Now it's going into the 10th house. With the, in, From the 10th house, it will aspect the 12th house with its third aspect, the Aries sign, and will aspect the 7th house, the Scorpio, with its 10th aspect, and the 4th house of Leo with its 7th aspect. Okay, so the 7th, 12th, and 4th are under the audit of Saturn during this transit. Okay, this two and a half months transit, but you will have to take decisions around these houses. And the best part of this transit is this lot of the Aries and Scorpio, where Saturn is aspecting through their, through its special aspect is conjunct with the Lord Mars. Okay, so Mars has a lot to say into this transit more than Saturn I would recommend you to always check the Mars so this is the transit for more than just two months and Mars will be with the Saturn for the most part of the time okay so always keep an eye on the Mars during this transit okay so for Taurus Saturn Rajo Karaka very good results okay check your nettle Saturn and you will have more insights about what this Saturn is going to bring in for you. Okay. And it it will also create the uh, association between the ninth lord, the dharma, and the tenth lord, the karma. Okay. It's a very good combination. Whenever these two houses are associated with each other through aspects, conjunction, exchange, transit, it, it brings in good results. It brings in the rise in the career. It brings in the fortune. Gemini Ascendant. For Gemini Ascendant, this transit is going through the ninth house. Okay, the tenth lord, the eighth lord getting into the ninth house. Okay, for 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 Gemini Ascendant, uh, the last transit of Capricorn was going through its eighth house, which shows you know working behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but hidden from the people. You will you will work on a secret mission, or maybe you're working on a project where you have to you know uh, do some research on your own you may not be on the front you may not be facing the client or you know you may not be facing the masses right now it's the time when 10th lord goes into the ninth house it shows that you will you will you will have that divine timing for you 
okay because now things will start moving in favor of you because the ninth house is the house of fortune and with the ninth house it aspects the 11th house of gains and the sixth house of dates okay and it also aspects the third house with the seventh aspect the leo sign okay so during this transit always check the signs aries scorpio leo and most importantly the sign of pisces we'll talk about that later when we'll talk about pisces but pisces is also an important rashi to really focus on during this transit okay now what's happening with this is when saturn is aspecting the 11th lord it somehow restricts the gains and these restrictions of gains are due to your belief system ninth house is the house of your belief system so you believe in certain things so you are not applying yourself so you are not willing to have gains you might have gains but due to your belief system you might re, you know restrain yourself from getting it okay so keep check on your belief system and if you can you know adjust your belief system or you know keep aside your belief system for the sake of your gains or you know for the uh, sake of the greater cause you will have gains during this time okay and the friendships you also have to be careful about because the saturn is aspecting the third aspect on the 11th house and through the belief system okay if somebody if some of your friends are not from the same belief system so don't be hard on them okay don't don't have that religious debate with them okay just be easy with them and just get along well and move on that's the best way to tackle that during this time cancer ascendant for cancer ascendant this transit is going through the 8th house and it will be aspecting the 10th house and the second house and the fifth house the 8th house people get scared of this transit of saturn into the 8th house i get a lot of messages oh i have saturn in the 8th house i have saturn transiting through the 8th house am i going to die you can die at any transit at any um from any house why because dashas are far more important than transit the yogas and the the yogas forming and the planets involved into those yogas if you have the dashas of those yogas those planets they have far more impact than just a transit don't rely on transits more okay focus on dasha okay that's the reason i don't make videos on the transit of mercury moon and sun and so on because i believe that dashas are far more important in order to bringing in some event into manifesting into your life okay so focus on yoga and dasha and just use the transit as a triggering uh, point when you can expect whatever is promised into your chart that dasha will uh, that transit will help you to understand we're talking about the cancer ascendant and for cancer ascendant it is going through the 8th house 8th house is a hidden house 8th house is also the house of the gains for your career 8th house is 11th to the 10th okay you will see that the 10th house 8th house is 11th to the 10th and saturn is aspecting the 10th house with its third aspect third aspect has the element of the third house that is the self efforts so this transit will make you go deep into some research in you know hiding from all the places like you will be hiding from the front like you you may not be uh, connected with the masses with other people you may not be appreciated for what you do but you will do some serious work you will do some research on your project okay which will help you in some uh, next transit of the saturn but when you are into the 8th house transit don't think that you are going to die okay please it doesn't work like that so 8th house is the hidden house and saturn going through that it will exhaust you the 8th house transit of saturn makes you work a lot because it aspects the third 10th uh, house with its third aspect and it also aspects the 
fifth house with its eighth uh, with the tenth house aspect. Okay, tenth house is also the uh, aspect of the work, and third house is also the house of uh, self effort. Okay, so when Saturn is in the eighth house, it shows that you, it will exhaust you, but at the same time, the eighth house is the house of joint assets. So the eighth house Saturn will give you some asset. It's a very good time to create your own assets. Okay, it, it can be joint assets with your partner or can be your own assets from the gains of your career, right? It's the 11th from the 10th house. You have some gains. Now you can create some assets. Make sense? This is how it works. Now let's talk about the sign of Leo, Leo moon, Leo ascendant. Okay, for that, the Saturn is going through the 7th house. From the 6th house, it is going to the 7th house. Okay, the 6th house is the house of diseases, delays and dates, arguments, separation, divorce and now it is going into the seventh house of the partnership. You know, seventh house has the energy of the Libra sign because in the natural horoscope, the seventh house comes into the Libra sign where Saturn gets exalted. So whenever you have Saturn going through your seventh house, no matter what ascendant you have, you will always have the uh, element of that Libra Saturn into your chart. Okay. So Saturn going through the seventh house will make you work towards your partner. It will bring in some responsibilities towards your marriage. Okay. It doesn't mean it will, you know, your marriage is going to bring you some bad luck or something. No, the Saturn is a planet which brings in responsibility and shows you the reality. Okay. So if you have any problem around your relationship, you will have to address that. Okay. And you will be able to, you will be fortunate enough to fix that during this transit because now the it's the audit of the seventh house. Now it, it is all about, you know, fixing the uh, unsorted issues around the seventh house, right? From the seventh house, Saturn aspects the ninth house of Bhagya, the fourth house of uh, home environment and the ascendant. This is a critical placement because three of the Kendra houses are getting impacted by this transit and one of the trinal house. Lagna is also a trine house. So two trine and two Kendra houses are getting impacted by the aspect of Saturn during this transit. Okay. And what it shows is it will make you work towards your relationship. And when I say relationship, it is not only about the marriage relationship. It is also about your relationship with the other people, how you relate with other people, right? The first house is self and the sec sec seventh house is the other self. Okay. And it also will uh, bring in some kind of a uh, duties around your relationship as well. Okay. And if you're looking for a partner, it might delay the partnerships for good. But having Saturn in its own sign that between the seventh house, which has the vibes of the Libra Saturn, otherwise through the natural horoscope and getting into its own sign will bring in all the positive uh, impact of Saturn into the seventh house for your relationships. Okay. It will, it will give you all the, uh, positive karmas, the fruits of the positive karmas around this house. Okay. Now let's talk about the Virgo sign for Virgo sign. Saturn is transiting through the sixth house. Sixth house is the house of delays, diseases is the Dushtana house. It's bad. It's going to hurt you, right? No. Okay. Why? Because sixth house is the house of delays and diseases, but it is also Upachaya house, which grows with time. Sixth house is also the house of Artha. Artha house is the house of money. Two, six, ten are Artha Trikon houses, which brings in money. The planet of Karma goes into the sign of, goes into the house of money in its own sign. So what it shows is it will make you work rigorously throughout this transit. It will make you continuously, it will make you work redundantly with a routine and you will be rewarded with money during this time. Your cash flow will increase during this time. Okay, because you will, you will work beyond your comfort zone because Saturn makes you uncomfortable, brings in fear and, you know, makes you uh, work towards your uh, weaknesses, will expose your weaknesses and will make you work to improve that. The constant improvement can be seen with the sixth house.
Okay, now let's talk about the Libra sign. The Libra sign, the, uh, the Saturn transit is going through the fifth house. It's a Libra sign. Saturn is also a very good planet because it rules one Kedra, one trine, the fourth and the fifth. And the sign, the Lagna itself is exaltation sign for the Saturn. So when Saturn goes through the fifth house, it aspects the seventh house, it aspects the eleventh house, and it aspects the second house. Okay, so it aspects all the family houses. Okay, the seventh house is the house of your marriage. 11th house is the house of your friends and larger circle social groups and the second house is the house of your immediate family like you're born in the first house and supporting family to you your family like your mother father your parents your childhood friends can be seen with the second house and Saturn is restricting and bringing in responsibility around all these houses so so for Libra ascendant Libra moon this 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 transit can delay their marriage okay if you're looking for partnership this can delay the partnership this saturn will remove any kind of a problem around the relationship with its third aspect in, onto the seventh and seventh on the eleventh and the tenth on the second it will improve your family life okay so it will make you work towards your family life you have to take responsibility of your family okay you may not like that but when this transit will pass you will be blessed you will be thankful you will be happy that wow thank god i took the responsibility thank you saturn okay and depending upon what dasha you're going through and what are the nettle placement in these signs will change the uh, intensity or the strength and the condition of this transit. Now, let's talk about the Scorpio sign. The Scorpio ascendant, the Sa this Saturn, this uh, transit is going through the fourth house. From the fourth house, it aspects the sixth house, the first house, and the tenth house. Again, for Scorpio ascendant, three of the Kendra houses are getting impacted. Fourth, first, tenth, and Bandhushtana, the sixth. Okay? When Saturn is aspecting the sixth house, what it shows is it shows you have to be strong emotionally. Whenever there is a connection between the fourth house with the sixth house, through the third aspect of the Saturn, what it shows is you need to work the third house, the self-effort, towards the sixth house things, okay, to improve your emotional stability. Okay, when Saturn is in the fourth house, you have to take enough sleep. Fourth house is the night time. Saturn is all about doing things. Okay, so it will make you work and work and work. Did I mention work? Yeah, it will make you work and you will you will avoid taking sleep. You will wake up late until night. Okay, and you will keep working even throughout the night. Okay, you will have weird timings of work. Okay, so I will recommend you to take enough sleep during this time. That will change your life during this transit. Okay, that will really help you to uh, work and rest and take most of the most out of this transit. Okay, rather than just getting carried away into the work, I would I would recommend you to stop, wait, and take rest, take some sleep. Okay. Now let's talk about the Sagittarius Ascendant. For Sagittarius Ascendant, this transit is going through the third house and will aspect the ninth house, will aspect the twelfth house and will aspect the fifth house with the third aspect. Okay. Now from the third house, the Saturn in the third house, the planet of karma comes into the house of self-effort. Okay. It, it, it's a very good placement for doing something of your own. It will make you work towards your goal. It will make you disciplined, motivated towards your heart wish. So whatever you wishes you have, this transit will make you work towards that area. It will make you work towards that wish. Okay. And that will help you to get closer to that wish. Ninth house is the house of fortune. The planet of karma aspecting the house of fortune. It's also aspecting the fifth house, which is third to the third right which is your innermost wishes your uh, hard wishes 
Capricorn ascendant. For Capricorn ascendant, this transit is going through the second house will aspect the fourth, eighth, and the eleventh house. Okay, and for the second house transit, through the, the transit of Saturn through the second house brings in a lot of responsibility of family. Okay, so people will look up to you as a dependable person during this time and they will expect some tangible resources from you. So you need to take care of your family. You have to work for your finances. Okay, but you will be rewarded for your good karmas. Okay, it also shows some uh, it also shows some uh, efforts which needs to be taken around your emotional stability because Saturn is aspecting the fourth house from the second house okay there there will be gains from your mother as well during this time aquarius ascendant for aquarius ascendant this transit is happening from the first house and it will aspect the third house the seventh house and the tenth house okay so two of the three of the karma three of the kendra houses are getting impacted for aquarius ascendant as well and one of the uh, Upachaya house of third house is getting impacted with this Saturn. So this Saturn will make you work. Okay, this Saturn will also make you feel uh, what people, what other people think about you. This Saturn can also make you lazy, or it. This Saturn can also make you seek validation from other people. Okay, so don't be afraid about what other people think about you. Okay, if if you could fix this. So this transit will help you to work. This transit will help you to get recognition in your field of in your sphere of uh, influence. In whatever you do, you will get the uh, long-awaited recognitions during this transit. The sign of Pisces is getting hemmed between the Rahu in the Aries and Saturn in the Aquarius. Okay, but the the good news is Jupiter is going through its own sign in the sign of Jupiter. Okay, so the sign of Pisces is going through an interesting phase through their life because they are going through the Sade Sati because Saturn is coming into the sign of Aquarius, but at the same time they have the wisdom of Jupiter. So these people will have some divine guidance during this time. Okay, so they have to be careful with their finances because Rahu, which is the house of which is a futuristic amplifying energy into the second house and Saturn is aspecting the sign of Aries where Rahu is placed in. Okay, and this Rahu getting the aspect from the Saturn feels restricted. Okay, so you have to make sure you are not taking any abrupt decisions around the Rahu house during this time. Okay, but at the same time, this, this second and the twelfth house are the supporting house to the self. Okay, so Saturn in the twelfth house gives you the support the the saturn in the 12th house makes you makes you a po makes you a humble person okay and whenever you are humble you have to be consistently humble to beat the ego and the 12th house is the loss of the self right so when saturn the planet of karma goes through the 12th house it makes you lose your ego it it helps you make it it helps you lose yourself okay so for pisces ascendant this is an interesting time they are going through and this time will change their life for good okay so you have to be conscious enough to see what's happening in around the second house where aries is placed in in the ninth house where scorpio is placed in the saturn in the 12th house will aspect the ninth house through its 10th aspect for pisces ascendant will bring in some positive impact into their self and the 12th house which is the house of spiritual practices right so all these considering all these things the the sign of pisces will have the time of their life during this transit okay a lot of things are happening around the sign of pisces okay so i would recommend the sign of pisces to be conscious and make most of this transit let us talk about the nakshatra the planet saturn will be transiting from the nakshatra from the sign of capricorn to the sign of aquarius but it will be transiting through the same nakshatra of dhanishta okay so it, it ranges from uh, capricorn to the aquarius okay so it has four padas leo virgo libra and scorpio okay so the third pada 
of the uh, Dhanishtha nakshatra falls into the sign of Aquarius and this transit of Saturn is a transit from the second pada to the third pada. Okay, so, so when Saturn is moving from uh, on 29th April from uh, Capricorn to the Aquarius, it is getting from the the sign of from the pada of the Virgo to the pada of Libra. So now the Saturn becomes extremely powerful because in D1 chart you will have Saturn in the sign of Aquarius and in the D10 chart you will have Saturn into the uh, sign of Libra, the sign of exaltation. Okay, so this makes this Saturn extremely powerful. Okay, on the July it will come back to the sign of Virgo. In fact, even uh, I really like the placement of Saturn in um, Virgo. I, I consider it as the sign of exaltation itself, right? Because the qualities of the Virgo sign matches with those of the Saturn, the earth element and you know, the sign which is all about the organization, structure, detail oriented, all these are the Saturnian qualities, right? So Saturn loves to be into the sign of Virgo and Libra. So during this two and a half years, Saturn will be into the sign of Aquarius and in the pada of the Virgo and the Libra. Okay, so all in all, this Saturn is going to bring in a lot of good work for you. So the areas you have to focus on, we have already discussed about the areas, wherever you have Rahu placed in the Aries and the Aquarius, the Scorpio and the Leo are the signs. So according to your ascendant, wherever you have these signs placed in, check the Lordship, see what's happening in, see what are the planets placed in and then you will have a better idea about what's happening in your chart for this transit. Okay, so yes, this was Saturn into the sign of Aquarius as much as I could hold grasp and share with you guys. If you want to learn Vedic Astrology step by step, join my live free training. Check out the link in the description or if you want to deep dive into Vedic Astrology, these two videos on your screen will help you to deep dive into Vedic Astrology, sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibrations. See you in the next videos. Love and peace. Namaste.